Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can customize your shower designs using the wall editing tools within the 3D Floor Planner. So in this video, I'll show you how you can add in tile to the wall, how you can build out benches, and also how you can create shower niches. So let's go ahead, we're just gonna jump right in and just get started. Now I've already created my basic uh, floor plan for this particular design, but I've removed all the tile and the bench and the shower niche so that we can just go ahead and recreate this design from scratch. So I'm gonna jump back into the floor planner and if you wanna be able to access the wall editing tools so that you can add in tile or other textures to your walls, you just need to make sure you're in the 3D perspective mode. When you're in the 3D perspective mode, you can click on any wall that you wanna edit and then you'll see a little pencil icon here that you can click and that will bring you straight into the wall editor. Now in the wall editor, you're going to see the wall that you selected and you'll see the measurements for that wall. And let me just reset this back to the main texture panel just so we can see exactly how everything looks from start to finish. So the first thing that I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna go ahead and add a paint color to this wall and then we'll start dividing it up into sections for where we wanna add in the tile. So I'm gonna pop into the paint library. Um, I'm gonna go into the Benjamin Moore collection cause I already had a color ready that I wanted to uh, use. So I'm gonna use Whirlpool, but you'd basically just be able to come in here and you can search by color name or color code, or you can just uh, browse through. And if you find a color you like, click on it click on the wall and it will fill it in. So now that I've got the paint added, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start building out the section where I want the tile to go on this wall. So over here, I'm gonna click into the rectangular tool. I'm gonna to click on one of these corner points and I'm just gonna move my mouse out and I'm gonna create a rectangular shape. And in this case, I want it to be three foot nine. Perfect. So I'm just gonna to click to release it. I've got it at three foot nine. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into the main texture library here. I can go into tile. In this case, I was using a marble tile. So you can click into marble and then you'll be able to see all the options that you have available here. But if you've also been using this uh, add to favorites icon, you can check your favorite section here. And then that will show you all the tiles that you have already favorited. So you can quickly grab them and then add them to the wall. Now that I've added in this, the next thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add in the bench that I want to have on this wall uh, of the shower. So again, I'm gonna come back up to the rectangular tool here, click on that. I'm gonna click on one of the points that I added to create this original tile wall. And then I'm going to just create a whole other rectangular shape just above it. And I think I want this bench to be, let's see here, 1.8, there we go. I'm gonna use the same tile. So I'll click on that and click on the area that I wanna fill in. And then the next thing that I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start adjusting the horizontal and vertical offset for these tiles because I want them to line up nicely. So for the bench, I'm going to use the horizontal offset and we'll just slide this tile over until it kind of lines up. Actually, let's see here. Yeah, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna keep going over here. Okay, so that's great. So it's lining up with this edge. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to use the vertical offset on this one to bring this tile up a bit. So I have a full tile that's sitting just above the bench. So over here to the right side panel, I'm gonna click on the vertical offset and just get everything nicely lined up here. Okay, great. So the next thing that I wanna do now is I want to click on this little uh, rectangle that I've created for my bench and I'm gonna pop over to the right side panel here and use the extrusion tool. So in this case, let's say I want this bench to be 20. Well, let's make it 18 inches. It's gonna jut out 18 inches. So if I open up my th um, 3D previewer here, you can see what the bench looks like. Okay. So that about does it for this wall. So now I'm going to save this. And now we've got our tile wall and the, uh, the bench added in. So now let's zoom around to this side and we'll start creating this wall that also has the shower niche. So in this case, I want to select this wall now. I'm gonna click on the pencil icon and it's gonna bring me into this view where I can see the wall that's selected. 
And again, I'm gonna just stick in my, I'm gonna stay with my favorites and I'm gonna use this tile that I'm gonna add to this particular wall. Um, let's see here, what, okay, I just used a simple hexagonal uh, tile for this one. So let's go ahead and we'll do the same thing. So if I wanna create a shower niche now, I'm basically gonna do the same steps that I used to create that bench, but I'm gonna do the inverse. So instead of extruding it out, I'm basically going to cut out a section out of the wall. So let me show you how to do that. We're gonna click on the rectangular tool again, and maybe I'll just place this uh, shower niche somewhere in the middle here. You guys can decide how big you want your shower niche to be and where you wanna place it, um, but I'm just going to create a rectangular shape here that I'm gonna add into the middle of this wall. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click into the hexagonal tile that I've already added to my favorites. But just so you know, there are loads of tiles, uh, different tile options that you can use. So pop into all of these individual libraries and then you can have a look and see which tiles you wanna add. For now, I'll just quickly go ahead and grab this uh, hexagon one. And I don't really like how big that is, so I'm actually going to use the horizontal and the vertical scale, and I'm gonna de decrease the overall size of that so I get smaller tiles for this space. Now that I have that added in, I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom here, and I'm gonna go back to the extrusion tool. But instead of increasing the number for the extrusion, I'm actually gonna pull this toggle all the way back to minus four inches. So that's gonna cut four inches into the wall. And if I open up this uh, previewer here, you can see how that's starting to look. So let's go ahead, we'll save this wall. We're gonna come into this design and you can see how that shower niche is now built into the wall. We've got our bench over here and I'm just realizing that we could probably go ahead and use the vertical offset on this wall to line the uh, grout lines up with this one right here. So let's go ahead and we'll do that. Now, if I bring this 3D previewer out, I'll be able to see where the grout lines are and where they're not quite matching up. Then I can click into my overall wall here and I'm gonna go back to the vertical offset and I'm just gonna bump it up a little bit until I have it so that the grout lines are matching. And that actually looks pretty good right there. So let's go ahead and save that wall. And it looks like our grout lines are now matching up. Now the last wall that I need to do here is over here on this side. So again, we're gonna rotate our design around. We're gonna click on the wall that we need to edit, edit this wall. And in this case, because I'm facing this way, I need to put my three foot nine shower tile wall on this side. So again, we also want the paint color for this particular wall as well. So we'll start with the paint color. I'll go back to the overall library here into paint, uh, into my, mm, I don't think I did favorites there. Did I do recents? Perfect, here we go. So we're gonna add in our paint color. Then we're gonna go back to the main texture library. I'm gonna grab this rectangular tool. We're gonna add in another rectangular shape above this at 3.9 or three foot nine. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna go back into the tile. Uh, I can use my favorites or I can go into any of these libraries, but since I already know it's in my favorites, I'm gonna do that. Click on the tile, add in the tile, and then we'll just save this. Now, when I save this, I'm just gonna have a quick look to see if it's lining up. It's not perfectly lining up with the grout lines over here. So what I would do here is, I'm just gonna zoom in so you guys can see this. Uh, what I would do here is I'm gonna click on this wall again we're gonna edit this wall. I'm gonna bring my 3D previewer out so I can see where those grout lines are. And then what I can do is I can click into this uh, tiled area here. And again, we're gonna use the vertical offset. Oh, not, not the vertical scale here, the vertical offset over here. Okay, so in this case, I'm gonna to have to bump this up a fair bit until we get it. There we go, that looks good. Let's save that. And there you have it. Now you have your custom design shower with tile. You can change the size of the tile. You can change the offset of the tile. You can add in your own benches. You can add in your own shower niches and really just test with a variety of different, um, different tiles when it comes to like 
well, let's just pop in and we'll have a quick look. Um, so let's go ahead. We're going to edit this design. I just want to give you a sense of like all the different options that you have available to you. There's loads of different mosaic tiles, marble, uh, hexagonal stone. There's ceramic woods. There's really ornate ones as well that you can test out. So just jump in there and give it a try. Test out a variety of different uh, tiles that you can use within your designs. But hopefully this video has given you a sense for how you can start building out these structures so that you can really customize your bathroom designs. If you have any questions about this, just let us know. You can reach out on the live chat. We are always happy to help. Thanks so much for watching.